read a lot of your comments from the last Dragonfire episode for nicknames on this <laughs> insane dragon that we got in that episode. And I loved a lot of the comments, but I'm gonna have to go with something that no one actually commented, and that has to be Droopy. Uh, a lot of you guys were commenting, like, Leaf and, and you know, Grass-esque names, which I thought were awesome, but there's something, to, like, he's just Droopy. Look how Droopy he, he always looks so sad. I don't know why. Maybe he doesn't like me as an owner. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a dragon treat. Maybe that'll cheer him. Whoa, he did a backflip. That was epic. Maybe it's all a plea. I don't think that's the right word, but maybe he's pretending to be droopy so that I give him more dragon treats and then he does backflips and stuff. But anyway, 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 that was not the only thing that you guys commented. You also commented that if I do go into his inventory, apparently I'm supposed to take out the dragon attack and then I right click with it in my hand. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we just destroyed these mushrooms. Look, they're all dead. They are all dead. We just annihilated Toad and his family. This is absolutely absurd. Also, I was pretty dumb last episode because with the dragon whistle, I don't really know what the dragon whistle does, but the dragon horn, surely... What just, did I just teleport? No, but surely if I use the dragon horn on him, it goes into the horn, right? No? Oh, I thought for sure if I right-clicked with him with the horn, it would, he, like, he would go into the horn, sort of like a Pokeball. But no, that just didn't happen at all. All right, well, that's pretty epic. At least now I know how to actually attack things. Horse, listen, I love horses, but you're, you're, you have to die. And so now you're dead. This is just too much fun. Now, I've played a lot of dragon mods and a lot of... I, I've tamed and, and used a lot of dragons in the past. This probably has to be my favorite, by far, my favorite uh, battling mechanic. The way that this works, it's really smooth, it's really easy to use, and the fire is accurate. And also, the particle effects are really cool. Everything about it is awesome. So that I'm really, really happy about. I do have to learn how to use the dragon whistle and the dragon recall. And there's probably some other things I can learn about battling in general. But anyway, today, guys, I want to explore some of the other islands. If you remember, in the last episode, we did hatch that guy. Well, I guess Droopy is what we're calling him in here. But if we go look over here, there's a bunch of different islands that surround the main island, which is where we are at right now. So there seems to be a volcano, an icy island, a, I don't know, a forest, uh, some sort of desert desert slash mesa and then a like an extreme hills slash forest-esque thing so i kind of want to go through the series in chronological order of what i think would probably be the easiest islands versus the most challenging islands i think that we're going to start off with this island over here which is a forest looking island typically those sort of settings are a little bit more relaxed and not too challenging and then we'll probably move on to that one which seems intermediate and then the desert, and then the ice, and then the lava. What I'm a little bit confused about, though, is there's like 15 different dragons. So I'm wondering if, I mean, I guess multiple dragons will spawn on different islands. I'm assuming that that is the only way to get dragons as well. Honestly, I don't really have too much info on how to get new dragons. I did talk to a lot of the townspeople around here, and they didn't really seem to help out too much with that. All right, so let's go ahead and hop on Droopy real quick and head on over to that foresty island, which I believe it should be this way if I read the map correctly it should be straight over here that there seems to be ice right there which is not what i want i do not want to go to the ice one wow these islands are really big on the map they don't look that big but man look at how big that island is okay that i believe is our target destination i'm not really sure what to expect i don't know if there's like a a dungeon in here that we have to take out which would be pretty epic and i would not be surprised if that is the case uh, or if we're just sort of supposed to explore this island and find other dragons or find dragon eggs or really i'm not entirely sure what's supposed to happen what i do know though is that there's mushrooms over there and they're gonna get they're gonna catch these fireballs right to the face all of them yep and you're all dead ggs boys wait are you dead no oh you're not dead oh sorry now you are now you are dead so once you get touched by my fireball you might as well just call it there and, and, and just die on the spot because if you don't you're gonna suffer through another attack which you're probably not going to like very much all right so this is pretty whoa what are those things are they like orcs whoa 
Oh my gosh, I don't know what they are, but I can destroy them seemingly very easily. I mean, I'm not really sure what is going to be able to challenge me this entire series. I mean, these dragons are just absolutely amazing. Not only is the animation amazing, the the the, the model is amazing. Everything about this is, ab is just phenomenal. Now, one thing I'm not sure of, though, is if I get off of my dragon, is he going to help me fight? Because I do remember that he did not help me fight last episode when I was fighting the mushroom people yeah so he does not seem to help me if i'm not riding him which is truly unfortunate oh wait they're respawning they just keep on respawning but i it is kind of annoying though that the dragons don't help me fight or maybe it's just this dragon because he is very droopy so maybe he'll only fight if he's forced to fight and check this out we just got some dragon coins which we can buy some pretty awesome stuff with back in town also i don't know how to make him stand a lot of you guys were commenting make him make him stand because he's sitting but if I, if I right click on him, I ride him. And if I shift right click, I go into his inventory. So that is something I'm a little bit confused about. Maybe dragon whistle? Is that what that does? Dragon whistle? Oh, he is sleeping. He is sleeping. Oh gosh, it's because it's becoming nighttime, I guess. Okay, wait, what about dragon horn? Okay, this is really not good at all. Uh, my dragon is sleeping and I can't ride on it. If I right click on it, it used to let me ride on it but now it only opens its inventory if i shift right click on it it also opens its inventory so it seems like we're gonna spend the night here which is not really what i was hoping to do all right and it's daytime again but he's still sleeping bro hello wakey wakey what if i punch him no nope, no he's just he's just in an absolute slumber yeah this guy's the most droopy dragon that i've ever met in my whole life he he's not waking up please Listen, I, I, I need you more right now than I ever have because I really want to get off this island. Please wake up, bro. All right, well, I don't know. He seems pretty safe there, so I'm going to proceed without him. I don't know if, like, this is a dungeon, but this seems to lead somewhere, so let's check this out. I'm a little bit worried. These, mu these mushrooms actually are a lot, a lot stronger than they seem. I know my dragon was killing them easily, but they do a lot of damage. Oh, rest in peace, Lenny. No! Someone named Lenny died in here. Poor guy. Hopefully I'm not next. I don't want a rest in peace siren sign to ever pop up. That would be sad and tragic. Droopy, on the other hand, as much as I love him, like, bruh, he's not even helping. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by these giant- They came out of nowhere, bro. Dude, these mushrooms are psychos. They're just respawning. Bro. Oh my goodness. And you're awake. And you're- Guys, I am not kidding when I tell you this. I'm not- Wait. I can't ride him? Uh, what is going on with this dragon? I'm not kidding when I said this dragon has been sleeping for like two and a half days. I didn't know what else to do. I gave it a dragon treat. That worked. But I, 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 I can't seem to ride it though. Even like, I'm so confused. What is going on? Oh my goodness. This guy's finally listening. Droopy, you might be the most annoying and obnoxious dragon I've ever met. What is this? It seems like, ooh. Okay, wait, this actually goes kind of deep, it seems like. But yeah, Droopy, like literally, it took him two days to like wake up and he still wouldn't listen to me and I don't know. All right, I'm hoping that Droopy is gonna be able to fit through this thing so far so good i suppose but it is narrowing come on buddy you can do it please fit come on oh my god wait it goes really far down over here surely like this is a good sign for it to go down here let me break these leaves real quick oh no 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 no! i cannot i cannot and i refuse to go anywhere without droopy because i will die all right and there we go now he's finally able to make it and just keeps going down um, I guess I'll just keep going down with this. I'm not seeing any more of those mushroom people. All right, here we go. We're starting to make some really good progress now. There hasn't been many mushrooms recently either. There's one right there. Can I break this gosh dang thing? There we go. Easy peasy. And okay, wait, the room's starting to open up here. Maybe there's like a boss room or something. Um, okay. I'm ready for something to pop out. I don't know what the heck it's going to be. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's get off here. So, oh, there's something in the middle. Oh my, wait, is that a chest? <gasps> is that an egg? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, can I pick it up? <gasps> oh yeah. It's a, oh my god. It's on my back. Come here. We need to get out of here now. Evacuate. Evacuate. We got the goods. We got the stinking goods. Let's go. Let's go. Get out. Get out. My dragon doesn't listen to me, bro. I don't even know why I'm yelling. I know it doesn't listen. And I can't parkour to it. So great. Oh, and I think this is the exit right here. These last stupid mushrooms. 
Get out of here, boy! Let me out! Wait, do I still... Oh, no! I don't have my... I don't have the egg anymore. I think when I got on top of the dragon, when I got on top of Droopy, I dropped the egg. Oh, no. Now I'm blocked. This is bad. Oh, so it turns out I shifted as I went to jump up on Droopy. Um, and that's why I fell off. So we're going to have to do this on our own without shifting, by the way. I, I feel like I shift a lot and sneak a lot just for parkour purposes. But I'm going to have to take my pinky completely off that key because if I hit it, I'm going to drop this thing. Now, luckily, I don't think that there's too many mushrooms or anything on the way back. So we should be pretty good to get out of here with a pretty safe route. The only thing is at the entrance, there are a lot of mushrooms, which is right here. Actually, we are back at the entrance already. And look, there's like six mushrooms already waiting for me to get out. This is the last hurrah that they got. I went in, I stole their goods, and now I'm getting out. Let's go, go, go. Oh, uh, yes, I still have it on my back. Please let me ride Droopy and still have it on my back. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh! Oh! Yes! Let's go! I'm riding a dragon with a dragon egg on my on my back or on my stomach, depending on which way you look at it. And I have no idea which way is back, so uh, I'm not really sure where to go. Yes, let's go! There's Middle Island right there. I'm not- I've been recording for an hour now, guys. Over an hour at this point. That mission- I know I, I probably chopped up this video to make it seem smooth. That was terrible! That was a horrible experience. Droopy- does not listen to a gosh dang word that I say. And also that dungeon, getting through that with Droopy was brutal. It was, it was a really, it was tight quarters. It was hard to get through. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad it's over. I have no idea what type of egg this is though. We're gonna have to go and check the um, Droopy. I guess you can say there. He's not gonna move anyway. He's literally the, the biggest lazy dragon I've ever met. But let's see if we can identify this dragon before we try to hatch it. So if I had to guess, I would say that this is probably... Hmm. It might be a Terex? Is that I? I don't even know if that's how you say that name. I feel like this is probably a Terex if I had to guess. Which honestly is... I, I don't think I'm... Mm, I think I would like basically anything else, if I'm being honest. Actually, no. The Silvas are pretty lame, I think. But everything else seems pretty cool. The Terex is okay. But I feel like every other dragon here is literally like a top tier, really amazing looking dragon well we'll see we'll see what it is all right let's go ahead and drop this right there bada bing bada boom and use our hatching crystal we still have a couple more of them well we can really get an infinite amount of them with mrs penny here she gives us as many as we want oh wait what do we even use in order to um get more so fish we have to get 50 fish in order to um speed up the process of getting him fully grown that's probably something if this is a terex at least i mean no matter what it is i don't have the ingredients in order to get them fully grown but no matter what this ends up hatching i'm not going to be able to get them fully grown in today's episode so that's something that i'm definitely going to be doing next episode but i am really excited to see what this is oh and there we go we just hatched a oh i don't wait what is that that is not that is not a terex i don't think what is it is that a nightlight dragon guys i don't know what this is hey little guy whatever it is it's adorable it's got like a it's like bright blue and then dark blue on the back yeah i guess that's a nightlight dragon yo that is insane Oh my gosh! I feel like that's one of the coolest dragons on the in the entire world. That's uh, that's epic. If it, I mean, I don't know what else it could be. It doesn't really look exactly like that, but it's pretty epic. Well, any of you guys, I'm gonna wait until next episode in order to grow this guy up. Um, 50 glowstone though. That is not really sure how I'm gonna get 50 glowstone. Maybe I can trade with someone. Hey, do you trade for glowstone? No? Okay. Well, that could be a problem. Leave comments for name suggestions down below for this guy. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to go ahead and smash the heck out of that like button. Also, of course, go ahead and subscribe, as only 20% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So please go ahead and check that you are. Anyway, guys, it's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you, dudes!